Hello everyone, my name is Leo and with this video we we'll share a demo review of the new two notes Genome. First of all we will check out the Genome plugin in action with the demo song, then we will describe the plugin in details, then we will hear more sounds also sharing how I have built up the demo song and finally I will give you my two cents. Let's start with the demo song. First of all, Genom should be considered the successor of the Wall of Sound plugin, which was well known as a, an IR loader and a power amp sim, also offering some effects. The Genom is a pretty big step forward, and Two Notes is now offering a much more well rounded solution for guitarists and bass players. Let's describe the main features. On the top of the plugin screen, we have the representation of the signal chain with these orange boxes that we can fill with our effects of choice. Having 10 blocks at our disposal that could become 20 also allowing us to create parallel chains. Furthermore, in each block of the signal chain, you can place whatever type of effects you want among amps, IRs or DIN IRs, delays, reverbs, modulations, compressors, EQs, enhancer, a stereo doubler, etc. There is also the possibility to access the wall of sound post effect section, which has some pretty nice uh, reverbs. Let's now take a closer look at the amp block, because here there are some very interesting options and features offered. First of all, there is a sort of universal AI profiles loader, which is called Codex. Two notes describes this Codex as a, a unification engine. Basically, you can load in the Codex amp block NAM, IDAX, or Proteus captures. Yes, you have heard it well. Genome can load any type 
of NAM or IDAX or Proteus capture you may have downloaded from the web or created yourself. And there are some profiles already available in the plugin itself. Furthermore, once we have uploaded our profile, we can shape our tone with a 5 band EQ or with the classic amp knobs we all know, like gain, middle, treble, and presence. Another cool feature here is that there is the possibility to change the setting of the profiles in terms of gain or EQ following a predefined tone stack. This is pretty important. Let me explain. As you know, a profile is a specific picture of an amp with a specific set of settings. But when you change the settings of the amp, for instance increasing the gain or changing the EQ, the resulting tone starts to differ from the tone of the real amp. Using the tone stack, you have a predefined behavior of a reference amp that also guides the changes to be applied to the profile when you modify the knobs. This is a very cool idea, similar to what Camper is doing with its own liquid profiling technology. So far, Genome offers two tone stacks that are the one of a Mesa Boogie and the one of a Fender. But two notes told me that they want to add much more tone stacks reference amps in future. And I really hope that they will do it because this is a super cool feature in my opinion. Furthermore, if you don't want to use NAM, IDAX or Proteus profiles, you can choose the two notes amp simulations. I mean, for instance, the ones that are offered also by the Opus that, by the way, we have reviewed in the channel. I would also mention that there is a power amp simulation only, pretty customizable in terms of tubes and general architecture of the power amp that is useful if you want to pair the genome, for instance, with an external preamp, like the revolt of the Synergy preamps. Honestly, when I first saw the features offered by genome in terms of amp simulations, and the relevant features, I said to myself, God, this is great. And this possibility to load AI-based profiles with a tone stack guidance should be offered by all the plugins platform by default. In fact, for instance, the NAM community is very active and there are a lot of great profiles available for free. Therefore, every plugin by default should provide us with the possibility to load those profiles as an option because this is the future, actually. Finally, in terms of the amp block, there are some other tone shaping possibilities that are called enhancers that are pretty powerful and should be handled with care. I found myself using especially the brilliance knob as it helps the guitar to cut better through the mix, even if you have to pay attention not to exaggerate, otherwise the guitar might become too bright or ear piercing. Let's talk a little bit more about the time effects. So far, I think that the time effects available in terms of delay and reverbs are still too few to use only Genome as your definitive plugin for guitar tones. But if two notes will invest in this platform, adding more and more effects and dump tone stacks, well, it's gonna become a pretty well-rounded solution for us guitarists. I would add that you have the possibility to set your input as mono, left or right, and so far the stereo input is missing, even if it should be added in future releases of the software. Then we have the possibility to store our effect chains in presets or rigs, and there are already a lot of presets loaded in, ge in, in Genome by two nodes. I would also mention that there is a tuner here on the top of the screen, a gate, and an automation function that allows, of course, to create automations with a specific parameter of the plugin, like the gain, the EQ, etc. Finally, I would mention the price, which is around 79 bucks. Let's now hear some more sounds. Welcome to the more sound section of this video. This time I would like to do something a little bit different. I mean, I would not only like to provide you with some more tones coming out from Genome, but also to share my choices for the demo song, as maybe they could be interesting also for you. And if you want, you can suggest what you would have done in terms of tone choices in the comment section below. I will start with the theme tone. 
Here I have used Genome with an included in the box NAM profile of a Marshall JCM 800, just adding a touch of gain. Then I pushed the amp with the tube screamer and finally I used a DIN-IR of a Krimbeck speaker mic'd with an SM57 and a Royer 1 to 1, which is a pretty classic combination. I have to say that the most difficult choice here was the one of the cabinet. I think that the cabinet and the choice of mics and their position typically really help the guitar to jump out of the mix. Sometimes we lose a lot of time equalizing our amp or adding EQ in post, but typically the solution is just to change the cabinet or the mics. Here I was unsure if to use a Vintage 30, a Greenback or a Creamback. Finally I decided to use a 4x12 Creamback with the Royer right in the middle of the cone and the SM57 on the left side, as in the picture. Let's hear the differences between these cabinets. seem tiny but to me these are pretty important differences and let's now hear the whole team part in the demo song <laughs> For the solo part performed with the Les Paul, I wanted to use my own Friedman Pintaco NAM profile just because I want a sorted of mixture between the tone of the Les Paul, which is uh, somehow brutal, I would say, when compared to a Strat, and the elegance of the Pintaco tone. In terms of cabinet, I ended up once again with a Krimbeck, but this time a 2x12 as I found it helped the tone to be more focused and less dispersive, so to say. In terms of effect, I just added an H delay and I cut off some bass frequency to leave space for the bass. Let's hear the final result. there is the comping part which was the most difficult to define as we have a big excursion in terms of how hard or soft I played. I mean we have a pretty soft arpeggiated comping part that should be pretty clean followed by a palm muted part which should be more gainy. I ended up choosing the two notes uh, internal simulation of the plexi with pretty good results. I have two tracks palm potted left and right loading therefore two instances of the genome one for each track, as so far we don't have stereo input. Let me also point out that typically I cut the frequency below 80 to leave space to the bass. Here I have used a more aggressive cut as the plexi, especially palm muting, tends to be too invasive in the lower register. Let's hear the results and please check out how the tone gets cleaner and more distorted according to how I push the strings. For the bass, I have used the two notes simulation of what I think is an ampeg, coupled with a 1x15 and an 8x10 simulation of a Mesa Boogie cabinet. Well, I'm not a bass player, but I think that the final tone is pretty nice. Let's hear it. Let me talk also about the little clean part before the solo. Here I have used a Fender amp with a Genesis speaker on one side and the Blue Alnico on the other. I think this choice helped the tone to be a little bit more interesting. I have also used just the Genome internal reverb and delays. Let's hear the final results. <laughs> Thank you. 
I have used a similar tone also for the tapped part following the theme, I mean this one. So here I have the distorted guitar in the middle of the mix and then I have pump potted hard left and right, a clean tone, uh, performing the same lick three times basically. So overdriven tone in the middle and clean tone pump potted left and right. I love the result. I think it's pretty three-dimensional, pristine and crystalline uh, and helped me a lot to keep the tone consistent, especially as I used an overdriven tone tapped, where the risk is to have a pretty invasive tone, I would say. But coupling the distorted part with the clean pump potted left and right, well, the final result, I think, uh, is pretty convincing. Let's now jump in the final part of this video with my two cents. Final considerations here, and uh, please notice that Two Notes has provided me with a free license of Genome, but uh, this video is not paid or sponsored. Let's start talking about the pros. First of all, I really appreciate the philosophy here. I mean, there are some proprietary Two Notes amp simulations, but you can also load NAM, AIDA X, or Proteus profiles, having a sort of hub of the best AI profiling tools in the market, all converging in a unique user interface. This is a very cool idea and the first time I used it, I said to myself, oh my god, this is crazy cool. I also like the tone stack idea, similar to what Camper is doing with their liquid profiling tech. I mean, you have different reference amps that you can use as a guidance for your profiles, so that when you change, for instance, the gain or the EQ, the profile behaves like the real tube amp counterpart. I found enjoyable also the proprietary two notes bass amp simulation that should be a simulation of an ampeg. Coupling it with the two notes Mesa Boogie bass amp DNIRs, I have obtained a very enjoyable bass tone, in my opinion, even if take this with a grain of salt as I am not a bass player. The last pros I would mention is the price. I mean, 79 bucks I think is a very good price. And now let's talk about the cons. I would mention that so far there is not the possibility to load an instance of Genome and to use it with a stereo input. So far the plugin manages only mono tracks. I use actually a lot of the plugins in stereo, for instance for the comping parts. I mean, I record two times the same comping part and then I pump pot one take on hard left and the other on the hard right so that I can obtain a pretty wide stereo image with a natural chorus. You can still do it loading one separate instance of Genome in each of the two tracks, but it is pretty tedious. And for instance, if you change the settings of one track, you also have to change the other. Another cons I would mention is that so far the effects are too few to rely only on Genome. I mean, I still found myself using other plugins for my delays and reverbs. This uh, may be derived by the fact that I'm very used to H-Delay and the Baby Audio reverb, but I think that time effects is an area where two notes could invest to increase the potentiality of Genome. Let me also add that the two notes confirmed to me that the stereo track input is going to be implemented in future releases of the software and that they have also planned to add many more effects. Let's keep our finger crossed. One further suggestion for future developments would be to add a two notes profiling software to create profiles that can be loaded also in the two notes uh, opus. This would be very cool in order to offer an all-rounded solution, bringing your tone 
both in the computer and in live performances. Summarizing, I love the idea behind the plugin. I mean, the concept of having a knob to load your favorite AMP profiles from AI profilers like NAM or to simply use the two nodes internal AMPs is very cool. Also with the possibility to use your IRs or the two nodes ones and also having some effects that can be further expanded with future releases of the software. I think the platform needs some time to include more effects and the stereo input management and then it could easily become my reference plugin. I mean, my platform for my amp and effects needs in the computer. And now it's your turn. Please let me know your precious and valuable opinions in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you what are the functionalities you would really like to have in these types of plugins and what do you think about Genome? Thank you for watching and see you soon!